Okay, we're here um, at the Stalwart Bastion event. Um, we've just uh, concluded and um here with Beth. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself, Beth. Um, hi, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm Beth. Um, I'm a Catholic. I just got involved in this event because I heard about a few um, kind of, uh, you know, degenerate behaviour that's happened over the last few years at the cathedral. Um, I often come here for Mass, so I wanted to come along and make sure I was protected. Um, and I've been here actually with a few people who are, you know, atheist, pagan, Protestant, and yeah, we've made sure it was protected tonight against um, a lot of people that yeah. you know, aren't so friendly towards the church. Excellent. And um, what, what what's your general uh, opinion of the Mardi Gras in general? I think the Mardi Gras really encourages behaviour that's not healthy for anyone involved, not for the people who are gay, not for the people who aren't gay, who are friends. I think it just isn't helpful to anybody, mm. essentially. And I think it also brings out a lot of really... A lot of hatred against tradition, a lot of hatred against religion, all of the foundation stones of our society. That's right. Um, okay, so I was also going to ask you, I mean, um, obviously we're seeing a big shift, um, a, a bit of a counter-revolution, um, and we're seeing many even uh, uh, women coming out and, and uh, highlighting the, the, fail, uh, the failed... Uh, uh, revolution of the past in the 60s and um, how badly it's affected uh, society and um, I mean what's your take on, on how that as a woman um, I mean definitely um, a voice that we don't hear in the media too often I mean what's what's your take on uh, how things are starting to um, slightly change because of the the constant uh, uh, bias and um, the extreme left-wing agenda that we've seen um, over the past years. I think um, feminism is essentially a failed experiment. Um, you know, we're looking at our mothers who, you know, often are wrecks. Um, I know my own mother has a lot of troubles, and I feel like feminism has exacerbated those rather than resolved them. Whereas my grandmother, um, you know, like her life in a lot of ways was a success. Um, however, she did come through at a time that feminism was beginning to rise, so you see the end of her life not being so great. Um, but I feel like, you know, women want to be wives, they want to be mothers, and they want also to see a masculinity, like um, a real masculinity come back and see that complementarity between man and woman return and be, you know, something that's seen as a good thing that's right, and encouraged yeah. in society rather than something that's just kind of like, oh no, no, we're all the same, you know, gender, mm. we're, just, we're all like one, yeah. you know, being essentially, you know, rather than seeing those differences as the good and beautiful things that they are. Well, that's right, because they complement each other, and um, and obviously it has worked for many thousands of years before it changed, and um, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, men and women have different strengths, different abilities, and together that's why um, they, they formed such strong uh, relationships in the past, and now it seems like everyone's divorcing, everyone's, you know, it's just society is crumbling. Yeah. And um, when um, they're pushing events like the Mardi Gras and... Um, basically promoting um, those kind of alternate lifestyles as uh, trendy and um, fashionable. Yeah. It, um, it also has a great effect on uh, children, for instance, that are um, um, brainwashed in schools and um, with different programs, yeah. told that it's, it's the norm. And um, I, I, I did also um, uh, speak to many um, other guys tonight and um, basically said that um, soon in the future that um, our churches are going to be underground. Yeah, Basically, I mean, um, what's what's your take on um, just um, the effects that it's having on um, on everybody, and um, you know, just just in general, like? I think yeah, I think that's it's very true that our church will be on the ground eventually in the future. Like we're seeing more and more persecution towards Christians, um, and particularly Catholics who have been really um, staunch in their you know their teachings on homosexuality, on marriage, um, on gender as well. Um, and we're seeing a lot of hatred come up against the church. Um, and the thing is, we also see people within the church who are going against those teachings, and we're starting to find that our churches will be smaller but more purified, I think. Yeah. And the thing is, the people who decide to leave the faith will probably just stop breeding. They won't have any children, or very many children, whereas you'll see Catholics who have a lot of children, and Christians who have a lot of children, and basically... You know, it'll be retaken again, I think, in a couple of generations. You know, I really hope that we see a return to tradition. Well, um, yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I agree. I mean, I, um, I think that's one thing we do have up our sleeve is that um, we... we um uh, we, we, we do like to uh, have many children and um, yeah. I, I think that, um, that that's one thing that um, we have it as, a, as an advantage um, that uh, maybe these uh, degenerates will out, out, um, <laughs> outdo themselves and yeah. um, eventually die out but um, I mean it, it might take a little bit of time and um, I mean I think you make a, a fair point that it seems like a lot of people even within the movement are, uh, are starting to shift and, um, and um, that, that, that's really a 
a negativity to see. I mean, a lot of church leaders um, going against the values that they're supposed to be preaching. And um, yeah. I mean, I think it's um, it's great to have people like yourself that are really um, taking a stand, especially a young person, um, and that isn't buying into the agenda. You know, I mean, um, and it, it is rare to see women, um, especially, but it is becoming more commonplace. Yeah. Um, so it's 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 a really great thing, and I mean, um, I, I I love the fact that um, people are really getting on board with the message because they've seen what has worked in the past, what hasn't worked, and um, and just what is good for society in general. Um, I, I, I think is important. Um, so I mean, um, that that's the thing. I mean, uh, where what what do we need to do um, as individuals to uh, to be able to make that change and be able to. Um, say move the country in the right direction yeah i think um i think basically stick with the truth always stick with the truth make sure you're well read and can respond to arguments and try to have courage uh, especially as a christian pray you know it's it's really important that we have courage and we're able to respond to people and i think oftentimes don't don't feel like these people who you know are involved in the mardi gras and stuff are like evil like remember that they are curious in a lot of ways they are lost mm. um, and while we need to battle what their ideas which are evil we need to remember that the only way to kind of move them into a healthier you know state or a healthier way of thinking is to be welcoming and encouraging and answer their questions don't respond with abuse just let them have their abuse and walk away and remember you know um, you know we, we are called to love them mm. but we don't have to love their ideas and we don't have to like allow them to like basically forces traps on our children mm. um, or any other innocent people as well so yeah. Yeah. always remember to fight the idea um, and I think you know don't be violent to the person but be violent to the idea <laughs> that, 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 that's <laughs> exactly yourself. right yeah, yeah of course and I mean yeah. um, the, the only way um, we can get our, um, our positive um, a- agenda out there is basically by um, being vocal and not yep. being silent as we normally tend to do and um, by sitting back it's, it's uh, worked against us in the past but um, hopefully we will start to see more and more people um, obviously politis- uh, politics is a dirty game um, yeah. and um, unfortunately there's very few people doing uh, God's deeds you know, yeah, that, 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 so that's true. in there it's very rare I mean um, it ma- ma- makes very difficult uh, times, you know, um, when 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 you don't see principled people that, um, I mean, um, are in it for the right, genuine reasons. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that will start to change as well over time, and um, yeah. I mean, we'll start to maybe um, in the future um, start to revert a little bit more from the past. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully <laughs> I mean, we'll listen to the reason. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. Um, but. Um, thanks heaps for coming out and um, it was a great opportunity to meet you and um, hopefully we'll see more of you soon yeah hopefully thank you no worries